So number four then from paper two of the 2017 initial five maths. There we go, three marks your favourite. Use your quadratic formula to get the answer to this quadratic equation to one decimal place. So you're just going to write straight away. If you can't remember it, you'll look up the front. Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And probably just take a note just to confirm it. a is definitely 2. B is definitely in front of the X, that's 5. And C is a negative, so C is negative 4. Right, pop that in. The negative of B, so that's the negative of 5. B squared, that's 5 squared. 4 times, now A is a 2, I'll just put it down this way. And C is a negative 4. Make sure this line goes under the whole thing, doesn't just stop here. Over 2 times, and A is 2. I'll put that in that way as well. Now, in the next line, I'd rather just write the thing I'm going to use in my calculator. So two twos are four, but I don't want to be writing a line after line just to work this out, so I'll do this at the side. Five squared is 25, take away a negative is plus, four twos are eight, and eight fours are 32, so that adds up to 57. So the two answers I'm going to get will be negative five minus it, I know you say plus or minus, just tuck that under there so it doesn't fall off the edge. But the minus one is going to give you the smallest answer if you want in numerical order. It makes no difference, of course. The other answer will be x equals negative 5 plus it. So, what are the two answers? So typing this one in gives you, annoyingly that, negative 3.137 and so on. And then just using re replay to change the minus into plus, or just doing it again, sometimes it's just as fast with fiddling about with that wee thing, gives you 0 0.637, whoops, 4, 5, and so on. But it did say to one decimal place, so that means x equals negative 3.1, or x equals 0 point, and this is just 6 to one decimal place. There we go.